Ramna. We are from Senior Girl Campus. Today we are going to explain the uh, digestive system. The digestive system breaks down food into small into small molecules. The digestive system consists of a long tube called the alimentary canal that starts from the mouth and ends from the anus. The digestive system, uh, the alimentary canal is about 10 meter long. The digestive system. The digestive, the digestive system consists of mouth, stomach, liver, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine at the end point, anus, mouth. The, ma the mouth is also called the mouth is also called oral cavity. Food enters the mouth and chewed by the teeth. Slippery saliva produced in salivary glands is mixed with the food to make it easier to swallow. Esophagus. The esophagus is a short tube connect to to connect the mouth from the stomach. The stomach is a muscular sac with valves which are control the flow of blood in, in and out of the stomach. Liver. Liver is used to produce bile. Pancreas. In pancreas, pancreatic juice is produced. This is small intestine. Is the, the first part of the small intestine is called duodenum, where bile and pancreatic juice is mixed with the food to help in digestion. This is large intestine. Uh, uh, the material which passes through the large intestine like water, uh, uh, plant fiber and cellulose from plant cell walls. Absorb, uh, water is reabsorbed in the walls of the large intestine, the, the part of the food which, uh, which does not exist in our body, uh, expel out from our body uh, through the organ called anus. This all is uh, digestive system. Assalamu alaikum. I am Rizwan Deem from Senior Girls Campus. Today I am here to present you the breathing system. Breathing system intake of oxygen and get rid of carbon dioxide. The parts through which air can pass are nasal cavity, nostrils, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and alveoli. These are two nostrils. Air enters through the nostrils and then moves into the trachea, which is also called the windpipe. The trachea is about 12 cm long. Now I would like to tell you about this. Now I would like to tell you about this portion. This all portion is called the chest cavity. On entering the chest cavity, the trachea divides into two smaller tubes called bronchi, which is divided into many branches called bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole, there is a cluster of pouches called alveoli. These are alveoli. When air enters through these parts in alveoli, it looks like My name is Aisha from Senior Girls Campus. First of all, I would like to perform three states of matter. The matter has three states, solid, liquid and gas. Solid. Solid have well-defined shape and volume. In solid, particles are formed. In solid, particles are packed tightly each other. Like this. The particles vibrate, but they are not able to move. Example, ice, chair, wood, liquid. Liquid do not have well-defined shape, but have well-defined volume. In liquid, particles are far away and have very less attraction than solids. They can also t uh, take the shape of their container. Yeah. Good morning. I am Mariam Raza. And I am Amara Zahid. And, and we, we both are from Senior, Senior Girls Campus. Campus. Today the topic of our presentation is DNA. Which is abbreviation of deoxyribonucleic acid. Chromosome is present in nucleus of a cell and DNA is present in chromosome. DNA was discovered by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953. DNA has three subunits, sugar, phosphate, and nitrog nitrogen nitrogenous bases. Nitrogenous bases present in DNA are adenine, which is abbreviation of A, guanine, which is abbreviated as G, thymine, which is abbreviated as T, cytosine, which is abbreviated as C. Blue color representing adenine, Red colors is representing guanine, yellow colors is representing thiamine, and green color is representing cytosine. Nitrogenous bases form pairing. Adenine form pair with thiamine and it contains two hydrogen bonds as you can see here. Guanine form pair with cytosine and it contains three hydrogen bonds as you can see here. Now my friend is going to tell you about double helix structure. The structure of DNA resembles a gently twisted ladder. As you can see, this one is gently twisted ladder, which is called double helix structure. That contains alternating units of sugar and phosphate, which sugar is deoxyribose. As
as my friend has already told you about sugar and phosphate. In this model, you can see two different strands representing semi-conservative replication. Now you might be thinking about semi-conservative replication. My friend is going to tell you about semi-conservative replication. Semi-conservative replication is a type of replication in which there is one original strand, and you, as you can see here, and one and a new strand is produced. It, it, it is done to make the copies of DNA, and, and when a, uh, during replication, the DNA unwound. As you can see, that it is unwound from this one base, and it is an exact copy of this one DNA. When a cell divides, each cell gets an exact copy of DNA, and each original strand serves as a template for brand new strand. Pink one is original strand, and uh, white one is new strand. After this, each strand has, after this, each DNA has one brand new strand and one original strand. Thank you. Starting with the name of Allah, who is Rahman the Rahim. I am Inahil Naim. And I am Maria Shafkat. Today we are here to talk about the solar system. The solar system consists of the sun and eight planets. Pluto is not involved in the solar system because it is a dwarf planet. Sun. A sun is a star of whole solar system. If hollow, one million Earths can fit inside. It also works as a giant magnet. Mercury. The first planet of the solar system is Mercury. It is very hot because it is near to the sun. It has no moon as well as there is no air. It completes its one revolution in it. I am Janet Shaba. My name is Janet. I did in class 4 and my project name is photosynthesis. This is working model of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which plant prepare their own food using carbon dioxide and water with the help of sunlight. For this model we use thermocultic, color paper, plant and cotton. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. आज एंजल स्कूल सिस्टम के सालाना रिजल्ट के मौके पे आर्ट साइंस एग्जीबिशन का अहतमाम किया गया है इस एग्जीबिशन में बच्चों ने रॉ मटेरियल की मदद से बड़े ही खूबसूरत और दिलचस्प प्रोजेक्ट्स तैयार किए हैं और अपने टीचर्स की मदद से इन प्रोजेक्ट्स की आज प्रेजेंटेशन कर रहे हैं और ये जो नुमाइश है ये बच्चों की को करिकुल एक्टिविटीज़ को इनहस करने में और उनकी लर्निंग में बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करती है जहां बच्चों ने आज अपने रिजल्ट्स पे बहुत ज़्यादा कामयाबियां हासिल की हैं वहां आज वो इस आर्ट और साइंस नुमाइश में भी भरपूर हिस्सा ले रहे हैं और अपनी काविशों को अपनी मेहनत को लोगों तक पहुँचा रहे हैं बता रहे हैं कि उन्होंने कितने अच्छे प्रोजेक्ट्स जो हैं आज तैयार किए हैं ताकि दूसरे लोग भी रॉ मटेरियल की मदद से घर में रिसाइकलिंग करके तो इस तरह के प्रोजेक्ट्स जो हैं वो बना सके और मजीद उनकी तालीम में ये मौसर और मामन साबित हों बहुत शुक्रिया